Taylor. So a different setup. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm excited for it. Jenna Marbles just came out. This is inspired by her. They did the acrylic pouring and before I didn't even know what that was. So when I saw it, of course it's aesthetically pleasing. So right away I wanna do it. But for this wall over here in the art room, I've been wanting to either get a wallpaper for it or get a good backdrop or some type of nice art related piece to bring the wall to life. So last I saw this picture on the internet. I'll try to insert it here. I saw this picture of like this wave looking like deep blue, different shades of blue type of painting. And it was like three, $500 a lot out of my price range clearly. So yeah, I really liked that. And I was wondering like, huh, maybe one day I could take some time, sit down and make something that looks like it. I don't know if I have enough paint to make something this big. I might, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> I'm gonna use a bunch of cups that I shouldn't be using to mix the paints and we're just gonna have fun. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing paint and we can get started. <laughs> My original plan was to make like an ocean. You'd see in the picture, but anyway, I realized I don't have enough paint for that. I don't even know how big this canvas is gonna turn out. I'm not even gonna cut the canvas. I'm just gonna pour it on here, see how big it turns out, whatever. And so yeah, I used all my colors. I pretty much am out of acrylic paint after this. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put some cardboard underneath the canvas just so I can kind of like move it around like how they do it and yeah so i'm gonna go set up okay so i think i'm gonna take my colors and they say to kind of just layer it in there i mean i don't have, i have no clue if this is gonna turn out it's kind of cool So that's what we got going on. So they say to flip it really quickly. I'm <laughs> nervous. Okay. Oh. Well, that one was easy. Oh my god. Sorry, I just really don't want to waste the paint. I mean, I just wish it didn't look like sewage. I mean, it looks cool. I just wish it wasn't like a sewage green. Like I wanted more blue. Like why only such a little bit? I don't understand, but. Hey guys, so while editing this video for you guys, I just noticed that I don't think I made an outro. I don't know if it's just because I was so bummed. I just completely forgot about filming the rest of it. But yeah, that's it. It turned out really sewage green. I did this a while back, I think even before Christmas. Whenever the acrylic video came out is probably around the same time when I filmed this. So I was debating for a while if I was going to post this, but I was just like, yeah, why not? I mean, it's not like, I don't know. I just decided to post it. And so 
when I'm gonna be doing more crappy art videos like this, I think it's gonna be under this new little series I'm gonna call Art School Dropout. So <laughs> it's just a joke, I didn't really go to art school. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Yeah, it was a poor idea on my part to not actually put it on a canvas because it was really flimsy just to put it out on that canvas material and just kind of wiggle it around. So I had a hard time with that. So definitely learned some things during that video. I want to do another acrylic pour in the future, but it's going to take me a lot of acrylic paint is what I learned. So all in good time. It was fun nonetheless, even though it didn't really look like I had fun, but I definitely did. I can't wait to do more little art videos like this. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.